Hey, welcome to That Show with Those Girls. I'm Laura. I'm Kate. And we are Those Girls, and this is That Show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, Do well, you want to say what the show's about? Yeah, once a week, hopefully, once a week, we are going to upload our show onto YouTube and entertain you for 10 minutes, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Um, we have a fun packed week oh. that we've been going to different yeah. venues and places, meeting yeah. different people and everything. I went and did something exciting this week that because we also are going to cover what's going on, what's new. Uh, let's take a look at what I did. It is the Carlsberg Comedy Carnival! I'm on the couch with Mr. Shane Langan. Hello, Shane, and how are you? I'm very good, how are you? Kevin Gildy. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Hello Ian, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. So what made you do something different other than the typical run-in-the-mill stand-up? I am because I'm not a comedian. And I can't do stand-up. I mean, something Barry Murphy have a reputation for doing odd things. Kind of, not stand-up, but just doing something completely different. So we, we've done it a few times where we just arrive and we've no idea what we're going to do and then construct a show out of it. So I like that sort of show, it's nice. I know, I, I like writing short stories and poetry and stuff like that, so I thought it'd be fun to have a little club where you can read out and uh, to an audience, stuff like that. And I, I know a lot of comedians who have who like writing short stories as well, so I knew there'd be one or two who'd be willing to do it. So we gave it a go in Bewley's in January, and then it went really well, so we kept doing it every month, and here we are now in, in the, the Carlsberg Comedy Carnival. I heard a rumour that somebody actually pooed themselves in Port Leash with one of your gigs. Is that true? Yeah, apparently that is true. Somebody actually did a poo in themselves. <laughs> I got an incredible lineup to that tonight for the show. All wonderful comedians who agreed to do it, and uh, it turned out being just a really awesome lineup and a really awesome night. I mean, you've heard of people weeing themselves, but you know, pooing yourself. That, that's that's got to be funny. Yeah. If one of these was coming at you. What would you fear the most? A vampire, A, a werewolf, B, or a zombie? Is that a zombie before 28 days later? I think if a vampire came at me, I'd have a slight chance of talking him out of it. Uh, well, if you've seen my laminate pass, uh, I think I'm actually a bit of a werewolf myself, so I'd probably know him. Is that a vampire, like a modern Buffy vampire, or an old Peter Cushion vampire that changes into a plastic bat? <laughs> uh, and if a zombie came at me, I'd have a chance of outrunning him. A vampire. Because I have no blood. <laughs> it would have to be the modern zombie. They just freak me out. Uh, I'd say a werewolf, because they're very vicious and they're also very agile and there's no reasoning with them. Backstage at Carlsberg Comedy Carnival. I didn't think, I thought we were just doing kind of things in the air. You got to talk to comedians and all that. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you do? And nothing. I, I didn't do anything. Nothing? No, I didn't. I thought you went to somewhere Bray or something. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I went to um, Bray. Yeah, first. Oh, let's take a look. Cool. Beautiful town. Hi Katie, how are you doing? As you can see, I am in a helicopter here at the Bray Fest 2009. Sun is shining. Not really, but if people are smiling and having fun for free. <laughs> so just on the beach now. Waiting to see some airplanes. Already seen one. Pretty much a normal airplane, but we're hoping for more. A lot of people here. The landing lights are quite clear the aircraft. Smaller plane there. Do you like airplanes? We do, we do. We didn't really come for that. I just came for the day out, you know. Just for the buzz? Yeah, just, you know. So you're a buzzer then? All around, all around with a crack, you know. And are you enjoying it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like the airplanes? Good. So we have a little buzzer there as well. Yeah. All right. Thanks a million. That's great. Yeah. And are you enjoying the air fest? Yeah. yeah it's, it's really great. Good. Yeah. All right. Can you give me a? 
<laughs> go on. <laughs> good effort, good effort. Are you saying like it's good buzz at the... Yeah, 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 it's yeah it's really good, buzz, yeah. good buzz, good buzz here at the airfest. Do you get scared up there? Yeah, no, only in the, the training maybe phases, uh, you get scared every now and then, but uh, you get through that. It's all good fun from there on in. Because you are really in effect just flying in a lump of steel, so... Are you having fun at the Airfest? Yeah, great fun, great buzz around the Airfest today. Good music, good fun around, so looking forward Good, to glad to hear it. Can you give us a <laughs> nyoom? <laughs> a nyoom. Thank you. <laughs> Not a buzzer. So there you go. Weekend, well, a day of a lot of fun and didn't spend any money. Saw two planes, a helicopter and sat in a helicopter and met a good few buzzers, so didn't need any money for that, did I? Just get some candy floss here. Four euro a bag, so I think I'll leave it. Not hungry anyway, so. If you don't need money to have fun, you can starve, but like, you know, I think it's important to say mm. that. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that that actually brings us nicely to the um, topic of our next little Weekly insert here. Weekly challenge! Weekly challenge! Woo! So we're here in Dublin, ready to accept our challenge. So right. bring it on, bring it on, producer. Oh, Ooh, sexy hands there. Just... Okay. okay, it's for us. You have 25 minutes to pick out a whole outfit for 6.75. Time starts now. Yeah, let's go and try them on. Cool. Give us a twirl. Okay, okay, my turn. Okay. So we're going to go and do some modelling now, so you viewers can decide whose outfit is the best. Thanks. Choose mine. So what, what, do, what did you want to do next? Well, I thought every week we'd have a music corner. So, would you like to go out and introduce... Oh yeah, because uh, it's actually ready inside. Okay. <sighs> See ya. See you later. Vote Kate. I'm here with Shane. You probably know him from Sneaking Suspicions or Blind Yakety. Um, although he plays the drums in those bands. So don't get the drums confused with the guitar here. Very, very different. Isn't it? Sure, sure is, yeah. Okay, so he's gonna play us. A, yeah, so he's gonna play us a um, song now from his own writing. It's, it's uh, called "When She Comes," and so jam out, rock on, my friend. Okay. Be brave in the morning. Be strong for her at night If she leaves you without warning Well, she's going to leave your life When she comes, she will come And she'll take most of your heart Don't let her leave, just let her see It was your plan to keep her from the start 